Right. right, let's see what it takes to build a trigger guard counter. So we've got four uprights. We've got eight crossbars, four for the top and four for the bottom. We've got six braces, two for the shelf and four to stabilize the system. We've got a counter shelf, a counter top, and of course the all important print. Okay, so we're gonna build the counter. We'll start with three uprights and three bottom crossbars. So what you'll notice on a counter, which is different to a wall, is that a counter doesn't have feet because it is basically boxed and self-supported. So crossbars, bottom crossbars, slides in. There's a little green lock that you just switch over 90 degrees and that locks the crossbar into the system. We do the same for the other one and lock. What we're going to do is stand that up. The other bottom crossbar in. Lock it. One thing you need to make sure of is that the switch, the lock switch, is facing somewhere where it's accessible. So it mustn't be on the outside parts of the upright so it's covered by the print because we want to get to it. That's only valid for a counter, not for a wall. to lock it all up is to put in the top crossbars and you'll notice the grooves must face up and the bottom grooves will face the opposite way. That'll go into the little wedge in just like that. Just push it so it's nice and flush. Do the same here and the last one. Right, before we fit the print, we want to make sure that this counter is stable. We're going to grab four braces. As you'll notice at the moment, there's a little bit of movement in the counter. So we're going to brace it in. Now you'll notice that the brace has got a toggle here that turns 90 degrees. So you make sure that it is in a vertical position like that. So that line runs down the brace and it will fit into the channel. When it's in and you've got it more or less at 45 degrees, you turn and lock over. Push it in, turn, and lock over. And we'll twist the counter around and do the rest. Before we fit the print, I want to explain to you how the tensioners work on Trigger Go. So Trigger Go has got a tensioning mechanism top portion of the upright. And how it works is when we put pressure on it, push down, just like a pen, it pops up. Just like that. So keep that in mind for when we fit the print. But obviously before we fit the print, we want to make sure that the tensioners are compressed. The system's ready to fit the print. There's our print, it's a full length print. You'll notice at the top and the bottom of the print is a plastic webbing, which we call a chonking, which is the rigid bit that gets tucked into the channel of the counter. So we only need to tuck it in once. So let's get close in here and I'll show you how it fits. Try not to drag the fabric on the floor. So that'll tuck once in into the groove, just like that and follow the groove all the way around the counter. All the way around, there we go. Just like that. 
until we come all the way back to where we started. Let's just let out some print here. There we go. And we have a slight overlap. Okay, that's fitting the top. Then we're gonna tuck the bottom in, start in the same place that we started at the top. Lift the counter slightly. We're gonna tuck the bottom chunk into the bottom groove that is facing down now. So that will tuck in, tuck in, all the way across. Just like that. Right to where we started. And then we have slight overlap once again. Okay, so the print is tucked in. It's looking a little bit floppy. The tension, the tension is, as I showed you beforehand, just pushing down and releasing. We've got a nicely tensioned print. And the last thing we do before we fit the countertop, we want to lock the tensioners. So push up, there's a slight little lock there, lock that across, across, do all four of them. Now that'll give us a rigid surface to put the top on and we've got no travel on the tension. Fitting the top, you'll notice that the top has got locators on it on the bottom side. Those locators will find their place on the inside of the crossbar. One times trigger go counter. 